Barcelona is extremely rich in culture and museums. From epic art, one-of-a-kind architecture, and exquisite Gothic cathedrals, you're bound to find something to make you gasp. First off, swing by the Barcelona Cathedral, which is stunning, even more than Brad's outfit. Hey man, it was hot, what do you want from me? Well, inside it's not, as this cavernous Gothic marvel built in the 13th century shrouds you in stone, protecting you from the scorching Spanish heat. The cathedral's dedicated to Eulalia, the patron saint of Barcelona, who was paraded naked by Romans through the city in summer, and a snowfall miraculously came down and covered up her nudity. Wow, that's amazing. Unfortunately, the Romans weren't so happy about it, and put her in a barrel with knives stuck into it, and then rolled her down the street. Yikes! which easily transports you back to medieval times as you walk through the choir stalls for the Knights of the Order of the Golden Fleece. You're making that up, right? Nope, and even better, if you head out the back, you will discover a secret courtyard which encloses a special fountain called the Well of the Geese, where 13 of these guys live year-round. Oh, that's so cute. The number representing the age that poor Eulalia was martyred. Okay, wow, great. Moving on to something less morbid is the Meme Museum. Oh, I love memes. Yeah, me too, but it's not that kind of a meme. This is the Museum of Contemporary Art. Housed in an amazing 16th century building, you will find some of the most profound, influential, and novel art currently being created. This place is an absolute must, and it's strangely not ever crowded. The art here will simply blow your mind. When we went, they were having an exhibit on photorealistic painting. Yeah, these are all paintings. To be able to just wander the halls through the galleries is amazing. The technical and artistic skill here is mind-blowing. And the use of modern faces in classical settings is like seeing Caravaggio reborn. Next, go back in time to see some modern art. Boy, this is confusing. At the Fondacio Joan Miró. Here you can see some of the famous artist's most unique pieces. Like sculpture and some amazing large format tapestries. But we were really interested in this mercury fountain that we heard about. One of the most beautiful, if not most deadly fountains in the world, the Calder Mercury Fountain celebrates the town of Almada in Spain, which was then the largest producer of the element for many years. While you're up on Montjuic Hill, swing by the castle, which is one of the great symbols of Barcelona. This well-kept 17th century fortification is great to wander around, but best of all, you can get an amazing view of the city if you venture up top and walk the walls. Next, descend back down to the busy streets and take a stroll down Pese Gracia, which is basically Basically a museum you can walk through. Here you can see some of the living works of the master architect Gaudi, like Casa Batillo and Palaguel, which are easy to spot. These are just a warm up for the main event, which is Casa Mila, better known as La Padrera. A private apartment complex which is still in use can be toured by visitors who really want to experience what it would be like to live in such a unique building. Here you can really understand Gaudi's relationship with nature, as the walls, stairs, and facades seem to mimic the oceans and forests, abiding by the golden ratio and the order of the universe. You can walk through a model apartment that's still furnished with pieces that were of the time, right down to what you would find in the cabinets. Or head up to the roof to have your mind completely blown in what seems like an MC Etcher drawing come to life. Champagne bottle glass mixed with polished tiles let the hot Spanish sun dance off the strange and beautiful rooftop, which has certainly captivated many a person, even Mr. George Lucas. Look familiar? And if you've got some extra time, you should probably check out this thing. Yeah, La Sagrada Familia is probably Barcelona's most visited tourist attraction, but not without good reason. This place is otherworldly. Nothing can truly prepare you for the overwhelming feeling of awe and excitement coming into this never-completed church that defies all notions of classic architecture. A pure symbiotic relationship between structure and nature, La Sagrada drips with color, stonework, and beauty from every angle. It's truly immense, and honestly the closest experience of what it's like to walking into a spaceship. It's just out of this world.